everybody. Recently, YouTube user Diesel Doocy posted a nice video, a detailed video of a Tiston Krupp Isis MRL traction elevator, an Isis 1 elevator. And I figured, why not go ahead and do a video of a Tiston Krupp Synergy? Now, of course, my videos aren't going to be inside of the shaft like Diesel Doocy's was. His is on the car top. But, we do have access to a Tesla Cup Synergy um, scenic elevator with a wraparound stairway. And I'm pretty sure you may know where this is at. It's Student Deck 3 at Central Piedmont Community College. On this muggy evening here in Charlotte. There's the Southeast Elevator, which is non-scenic. But down here we have the glass elevator. And as you know, one behind me might be wanting to take it up, so we'll just wait and see. Look how the vines have grown up this screen they have on the side here. I believe that was intentional. Of course, it is time for night classes. Here we are, student deck three, home to two Tesla Krupp Synergy elevators. This one here is scenic. And I'm going to see if these people here are going to take the elevator or not. Okay, here we are. I've done more videos of these than I can count, but we had this wraparound stairway that gives you very good access, I mean, very good view into the shaft way. And the elevator car is actually on too. So first what we will do is we'll take it up to eight. Yeah, this is an eight story parking deck. Take it up to eight, send it down a couple of floors and get you a look at the car top. Let's get you a chef for you as well. Good to get the light on. You can see, well, the camera's all the way up top, but the motor's on the left. Eight, we shall go. I like the fact that newer Tesla Crump elevators, the buzz or beep is not as long. All right, we're gonna send this down to six. Send it down a couple of floors, and let's get a, get a good look at the car top. I brought my flashlight with me. You can hear the motor. There it is. Down there is the car top. Now on, somebody called it down, but look here. Let's watch for the coming away. Here comes the coming away. Yeah, here's your good view of the Synergy machine. Now, unlike the Tissom Crump Isis 1, the Synergy motor is on top of the shaft and is, a, and is a much different design. The Isis had a much, much smaller sheave, while the Synergy has a larger one. And here it comes up.
we're taking all the way up to eight actually. Since these boys brought it to eight, let's go down one floor and look at, or attempt to look at the bottom of the car, because that's where things get interesting. Now, if you look at Diesel Deucey's video, the Tissencrup Isis won. And there's a sheave, you know, there's a, there's a pulley on top of the car. Now, with the Synergy, this is where the flashlight come in handy. If you look here, the Synergy has the ropes go under the car. So basically, you have the counterweight in drive beside the car in the shaft. Then the rope goes around the drive sheave and into the shaft way, beside the car, around and under the car, and back up to the top of the shaft. So, so for you guys who may have been curious about how a Tesla Cup Synergy is designed, I'll also do a sketch on paper for you to see as well. That's what these guys are doing. That's got to be fun. They got eight stories of ramps here to play with. All right. So what I'm going to do now. Okay, since we need to send this down a little bit. Now I'll take the man-powered elevator up to eight and look at the car top. Oh, very nice view of the car top here, guys. Now on the Tissencrup Isis, as I mentioned, at least in, on the Isis 1 that Diesel Deuce you got video of, the pulleys on the um, bottom drive Isis right around the top and came down right around the top of the car. There was a, the drive pulley on top of the car and went back up top. And if you look carefully, it's maybe hard to see. Apologize about that. Okay, the cables are secured right there. You see those springs, the red springs? The cables are secured right there. So basically the cables wrap from here under the car, around, up to here to this series, you know, set of pulleys which look to be plastic like the Tesla Cup Isis. Well, actually it's the other way around. These cables, you can see there's six of them. Pretty narrow diameter. They wrap in between the car and the, um, you know, the supportive rail to the shaft. This elevator, like the Tesla Cup Isis, looks to be self-supporting. As you see, these rails go all, you know, these these rails go up and all up and down sides. And up there again, you can see the cables. They go up around the motor, the drive sheave down around this, these um, two sets of pulleys and go down to the counterweight. So what I'm going to do is, well, it's here on seven, so I'm going to send it, let's try something here, yeah, send it down and then ring it back up. Try to do this quickly. I gotta wait for it to close. Or not, I just press the up button. Do this quickly. Not trip over myself doing this. There's your good view of the machine running. This is so hard to see because that light. You can see the cables, they just and there's a counterweight right there, and you can see the pulley on top of the counterweight, so we have a two to one drive ratio on this. I'm sorry guys, I gotta you know, magnify my light a little bit. And there goes the counterweight. As you can see, the car is coming back up to seven.
Again, there's the car top. This elevator has two fans on it actually, on top of the cab. You can see the, so they called it. So you get to watch it again. This guy is a Synergy drive system. Now I do have pictures of this thing. Probably not the best pictures, but watch those cables shiver. Did you see how the cables actually If you watch carefully, you can see how the cables briefly went up before they went down. This elevator disengages the brake briefly before it powers the motor up, so the counterweight pulls it. The weight of the counterweight actually will pull the car up before the motor turns on and sends it down. Man, this thing's busy all of a sudden. What's the deal? I only sent it down to one and caught it back up. Everything else is doing is by somebody else. Somebody has sent this thing to every floor. Now guys, you saw me. I did not press every button inside the elevator. There is the interlock up there. On the um, doors. Right now it's going, to see it's going, going up. Our guys on skateboards again, going for another trip. There's a good view into the car. And now we will go ahead and go back down. As you see, Student Deck 3 is a very popular hangout spot up here. At Central Piedmont Community College. You have such a nice view of everything. The highest parking deck in this whole area. The highest parking deck east of, well, west of the um, hospital, Presbyterian Medical Center, which blocks a lot of your view. So I figured before we wrap this up, we'll go ahead and do a view of Central Campus at night. This might be the last video I'll do of Central Campus at night before the Cratt Hall building is demolished. So, here we go. A lot of people come up here and take pictures and just hang out because look at the view. It's a very nice view of Uptown Charlotte. You can't beat the view. I'm t I'll be honest, this is the best view from CPCC. So if any of you guys are into photography, this is a nice place to go if you want to take pictures of Charlotte. So now, we'll go ahead and take the elevator back down. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and overview of a Tesla Cup Synergy machine. Pretty neat, actually. I'm gonna send it to an intermediate floor and get a look up the shaft. It jolts up before it goes down. Four. Let's get a look. Here's your little bit better view. You can see the machine up there. But the best view is obviously from the stairs right near about the seventh floor. Or so, and I heard the guys on skateboards.
Now this elevator does engage the brake before it cuts the motor when it stops, but it should do that when it starts. It makes it starting a lot smoother. Okay everybody, as I promised in the video, I'm going to do a quick little sketch of a Tiston Krupp Synergy MRL traction elevator's orientation, or at least, you know, like the one in this video. As I mentioned, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. You know, the cable speed versus the car speed. The car speed on this is, I think, 200 feet per minute. Basically, you have a cable um, terminus here and the cable terminus here. Cable terminates on, you know, over here and over here. Cable goes down alongside the car. Runs, you know, with, with these pulleys that are under the car. Goes back up the other side. Up here's the drive motor. Wraps around the drive motor sheave. Goes around these two pulleys, which pull the, you know, direct the cables back, you know, around the other side of the, um, in the, in the shafts, the, the, um, the car rails. Cables go over here. Go down to the counterweight. Wrap around the pulleys on top of the counterweight. Cables then go back up the shaft and terminate near the top of the shaft near near the machine. Now I didn't actually see where the actual terminus was, was on this elevator, but I would assume it's about even with this over here. So, unlike the ThyssenKrupp Isis one, which has the motor down the bottom and I believe runs the cables up to the top around two pulleys and down to a pulley that's right on top of the car. I can, you know, I, I can't remember exactly for sure how the um, Piston Crop Isis was designed. Um, I'd, I'd have to look at Diesel Deuce's video again. But it was definitely different than the Synergy. I would say the Synergy is a lot safer to operate from the car top than the Isis. Due to the simple fact that you don't have that that drive, you know, you don't have those cables right there in such a, you know, such a hazardous spot. The cables are out of the way, basically. They go under the car rather than, you know, on top, you know, wrap around the um, pulley that's right over the top of the car, right, right near where, let's say, a car top, you know, where, you know, where the elevator mechanic will be operating the car manually from the car top. So, that's definitely a very nice design. Um, now, the ISIS 2 had the motor in top of the shaft. Now, I don't know exactly how the ISIS 2 is designed. I know, you know, the, again, the motor is on top of the shaft. I think the motor was similar to the ISIS-1. And I think, you know, I think it's pretty similar to... I don't know if the ISIS-2 is similar to this or not, but... Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, tour. So now we have, you know, a good view of a ThyssenKrupp ISIS-1. You know, by Diesel Ducey from the car top. And of course, I wasn't able to get on the car top on this, but you know, this elevator here, the nice thing about it, you know, although I hate the fact that the stairway wraps around a you know a scenic elevator, it'll it gives you a very good view of the inner workings of a of a Synergy machine, which is pretty cool. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.